So here we have an image with the canvas extended. I've already selected the transparent areas. Let's click on generate a fill, click on generate again. Let's see what happens. Let's give it a bit of time. And as you can see, although the generation looks acceptable from right here, but if you just zoom in, have a look at the quality. So here's the before. Let me share that with you. And here is the after. The top part is the actual image and this is the generation. Absolutely not acceptable if you do want a pixel peep. Have a look right here. It's just terrible right here and the quality sucks all throughout the image. Even right here, have a look. This is completely gone. There is no detail. As most of you already know, this is happening because generator fill generations are still limited to 1024 by 1024 pixels. However, I have a secret button for you. Let's click on this secret button and now take a look. Here's the before. And here is the after. Let us pixel peep. It may not be perfect, but look at the difference in quality. So at the top, we have the actual image. At the bottom, we have the generation. Again, before, after. The quality is so much better, right? Have a look right here. That detail is not gone. Before, after, right? Even the road is better. It may not be perfect, but it's better. Here's the before, here's the after. If I had generated it at one go, like we did previously, this would be the result. And it's just... Terrible. So again, at one go, and this is our secret button. So how do you get that secret button? Keep in mind, it is just one click. It's all automatic and it's absolutely free, at least from my side. This button works on a very simple principle. Let us take a few steps back and try to find a solution to this. Let's say you want to extend it. So with the rectangular marquee tool, I made a selection of the transparent areas. And if you click on generate a fill, the entire generation right here would be limited to 1024 by 1024 pixels. However, if you make a small box right here of let's say 1000 by 1000 pixels or even 500 by 500 pixels, one at a time, it would be of a higher quality, right? So if you take the rectangular marquee tool right here and change the style to fixed size and set it to let's say even 800 by 800, right? Just like this. And you click right here, it's that size. You generate that area. And again, click again, generate this area. And slowly and gradually, one by one, you generate and that way, the quality would be much higher. But it would be a tedious process, right? Every time you have to click and click and click and then generate. So we wanted to absolutely automate this exact process. So Picture Instruments and I collaborated to create a button for you, a free code for you that allows you to easily do that. So all you have to do is to press a button and it gradually and automatically generates each box one by one. So you can click on that button, sip your coffee, enjoy your coffee and by the time you're back to it, it's done. So here's the image done with that process. Here you have Piximperfect Generator Fill. If I open that, you will see that each box has been done one by one. So this is one box, the second box, third one. You see that? Now let's compare it with single time generation at the top. I have just generated the entire thing at once. So this is with the Piximperfect Generator Fill, high resolution. And this is one time. Look at the quality difference. So you can see the quality of the generation. It just isn't enough. But with this one, just look at the quality. It may not be absolutely perfect, but it's much better. So how do you get this plugin? Maybe you already have it. So it's a part of the Piximperfect compositing plugin, which you can install for free. And the free version does have some free features. And this high res generator fill that we just applied is one of those free features. Now you can get this plugin for free by clicking the link in the description or directly from Adobe Marketplace. And if you have questions about installing the plugin, I've also linked a video on how to do that in the description as well. Also, if you already have the plugin, make sure you update to this version. Now, the process is pretty straightforward. First of all, open the Piximperfect Compositing plugin, go to Plugins, Piximperfect Compositing, and just open it. If you have not installed it, you will not see it. So make sure you install it first. I'm gonna dock it up right here. Now, inside of it, open High res Generator Fill. Now, choose how small or big of a box you wanna create at one go. So if you choose 1000, at once, it will generate a thousand by thousand pixels box and so on and so forth for the 500 or the 250. So if you want a little higher quality, you can choose 500, but it will take much more time. So you have to find that trade-off right here. Now, the easiest way to use it is pressing C for the crop tool or just select the crop tool. And you wanna make sure that fill is set to transparent, not generative expand. Now expand it as much as you like. You can choose the aspect ratio from right here. You can keep it freehand or choose an aspect ratio 
that's up to you. I'm gonna keep it square and this looks pretty much all right to me. Hit enter or return. Now you can click on this button right here. It fills up the transparent pixels. For right now, for fast processing, I'm gonna choose 1000 and click on this button. And as you can see one by one, it begins to generate these boxes. So it will continue all throughout and you don't really have to do anything just relax take a break and this will be done pretty fast if you had chosen 500 for a little higher quality it would have taken more time now i have already done it let's compare the quality if you look at this area right here so here's the before here's the after so this is all the generation that you can see now there can be some lines here and there but we will learn how to fix that later. But for right now, just compare the quality. So this is done with the Piximperfect compositing plugin. And on top, I have done the entire thing at once. So if we had done the entire thing at once, this is how it would look. And this is with the Piximperfect compositing plugin. You can clearly see the difference right here. So again, why not use it? It's free. Do keep in mind, you have to create a free Picture Instruments account to access the plugin. Now, while using the plugin, and even when generally using Generative Fill, you may see certain lines. It's not the fault of the plugin, it just happens when you use Generative Fill, as of now. So right here, I have expanded the image. So here's the before, and here's the after, using the plugin. And if you want to see how many generations we did, let's open up the group. We have done 24 <laughs> generations to do it. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. Now you must be worried that your credits will be over pretty quick if you use something like this. Do keep in mind with Generative Fill, even after you finish your credits, you'll still be able to generate. Unlimited. It is just that it will be a bit slower. How much slower, we don't know yet, but till November 1, your credits will not count. So use it as much as you want. Just go bananas till November 1, 2023. So here's the before. Here's the after. Looks fine at this distance, even at the bottom. Here's the before, here's the after. But if you zoom in right here, you may see a line. Now, how do you remove this line? The answer is in the question. Just select the remove tool right here. Let's create a brand new layer at the top. You wanna make sure you sample all the layers and then make the brush a little larger like this. Hold the shift key and just draw like this. And it's gone. Similarly, you can do this stuff right here as well. You can make the brush smaller and experiment with it, see what it does. So like that, and it does a pretty good job. Then you can paint little areas here and there. And at the bottom, if there are some lines you can see, right here, we cannot see much lines, maybe here. So we can paint right here, maybe there. So you can paint a little bit right over here and that line can easily be taken care of. Now this plugin is good, the idea is a bit unique, but there are a few downsides. I think it's important to talk about downsides of our own plugin, and that is the next generation, the next box is based on the previous box. So if the previous box is a bit messed up, every box next to it will be a little more messed up. Now messed up not in the sense of getting bad, but it can get into something different. So right here, I was generating the right side, right inside of the image. So here's the before, here's the after, also a bit of the left. So up until this point, it was fine. Here's the before, here's the after, up until this point as well, it was fine. But if we go further and further, right here, we have cartoon trees. So it can happen. And in this one, we used 500 pixel boxes. So maybe I should have used a thousand pixels boxes or try again possibly. Now sometimes when you're generating and it's generating good and halfway through you realize the generation further is not going as good. So you don't have to wait through the entire process, erase that area and do just that specific area again. No. So here we have the Mona Lisa. I was trying to expand it and halfway through the generation was not looking as expected. So you can always hit the escape key or click on cancel and it will cancel right there. And then you can easily start your generation again. And that I did. Even after that, I was not satisfied with some of the areas, so I generated them all over again. So yes, you can stop in between by pressing the escape key or just hit cancel. Now, if you are curious, you may be wondering, what do the other buttons? In other words, what do these buttons do? Well, let us say you have this image and you wanna write something here, but it's falling short a little bit. So you wanna just expand it a bit right here. 
how much you want to expand you can choose 1000 pixels or 500 pixels it's up to you let us choose 1000 pixels and then you can press the bottom arrow right here and it extends it at the bottom a bit and starts generating a thousand pixels if you want to extend it thousand pixels more you click on that again and if you want to extend towards the top you would click on this button towards the left and right these buttons and if you want to expand all around a thousand pixels or whatever you choose right here you would click on this button by the way this is only the free version of piximperfect compositing if you want to check out the full version you can check out this video on Adobe's YouTube channel. This plugin takes you through the entire process of compositing step by step. So you don't have to worry about where to start or what to do next. It has a feature to automatically match the color of the subject to the new background. Everything is absolutely adjustable in just a few clicks. You can extract original shadows in seconds, remove halos with a couple of clicks, and you can generate unlimited color grading presets. And these are just few of the features from a very long, long list. You can also watch the entire tutorial on how to use this plugin and everything is in the description and that's pretty much it thank you so much again i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating <laughs>